Yeah. So like another part of the, the entrepreneurship thing too is because I never let myself not know anything and just start from the very beginning. And those people who don't, who normally don't mow lawns needed to learn somewhere too. And they started from nothing, you know, but they recognize the opportunity anyways. Um, so I feel like that's kind of like me, like, I, the threshold for for entrepreneurs is way greater than those who are eating Cheetos and sitting on the couch, like don't do anything. Like the threshold to go through the tough part is much greater, like they won't give up. And after going through the tough part, like figuring things out, later on at the scaling stage, it's so much easier, but you have to go through that tough first second, third year in order to see the success, success later on. That's a very big misconception is that people, when people think of what to do, try to think of what to do, they think what they can do today. So rather than thinking about what you're capable of today, think about what are you capable of learning? That's yeah. much a higher threshold. Like what you're capable of today is very little. Like if you've never been in a business, obviously you wouldn't, you're not going to know anything, but is that a business that you're capable of learning if you put in the work and the time and the effort? There are actually businesses or subjects that you will never be able to learn no matter how long it takes. So don't be in those businesses, but you know, don't just knock, your, knock down any idea because you're not capable of doing it today with what you know today. 